So this video is going to be a bit more raw and open than my usual ones. This is just me opening up my heart and sharing what's inside. And it hurts. By the title of this video, you'll know that it's about trying to be friends with people who don't want to be friends with you. So this story takes place before my husband and I got married. Let me give you an introduction. My husband has a sister, let's call her Snarky. And Snarky is dating this guy who we'll call Smug. And Snarky was still living with her parents in this big, beautiful house. Now Snarky asked her parents if Smug could move in and they agreed. So Smug moved in with full access to the house. After a few weeks of being settled in, Snarky's father started asking Smug for some help around the house. But he often refused, stating because he paid rent, he didn't need to do anything else. Snarky soon started acting the same way. Hey honey, can you help me with mopping up the house while I finish up dinner? Mm, no, I pay rent and I don't need to do anything else. Kids, dinner is ready. Oh boy, I can't wait to eat. Oh, Smug, I was hoping maybe we can mow the lawn later after dinner. I could do the front yard and maybe you could help me out with the backyard? He pulled a whole SpongeBob and was like, Nah, I don't really feel like it. Why don't you ask me later? They never helped with any of the cleaning, maintenance, or cooking in the house. Eventually, they got kicked out of the beautiful house, and it seems like they've been super salty ever since. A few months later, I move in with my husband and his parents in that same beautiful house. I moved in and started parking my car in the same driveway. It was pretty nice. The difference is I pulled my weight and helped out around the house. Some time had passed and with the holidays and birthdays, Smug and Snarky would come visit. And when they did come to visit, they would often ignore us, go straight to the backyard and see the dogs, never say hello. When my husband and I did say hello, they would never say anything back or simply pretended we didn't exist. Obviously, this would hurt because they are family. She is my sister-in-law after all. So I really wanted to be friends with this girl. But whenever my husband and I would invite them to see a movie with us in the living room, they would pretend they couldn't hear us or show little interest in anything we said or did. Don't know if she's thinking, this is parking in my parking spot. She's sitting in my chair, sleeping in my room. But girl, it's not my fault you got kicked out. My husband has tried to be nice to Smug as well. But Smug just says some very smuggish things, is passive aggressive, or gives some backhanded comments. And the thing is, we've tried showing interest in the things that they like. We've tried engaging with them, but their answers, if they answer at all, have always been dry and cold. What's new? Have you guys done anything fun lately? No. Oh, how has work been? Fine. Cool chain, where did you get it from? Don't remember. Your nails look beautiful. It's the same way at my job. I seriously thought that clicks would be over as soon as I left high school, but mm, I was wrong. At my job, the supervisors are a part of their own little click. They prance around like they're on a high-ass horse and like they're better than you. Okay, side note, I'm gonna go off track a little bit, but this is why I just adore Princess Diana. She broke royal protocol when she chose to crouch down and talk to small children at eye level. She wasn't like, bow down young children for it is I. She spoke softly to them and looked them in their eyes, which is what made her a great leader. Someone who shows interest in getting to know her people. But anyways, returning back to work. The supervisors have held multiple office parties in the past, and they bring pizza and drink and go to the conference room to laugh it up and have a good time and I am often excluded. They deliberately walk past me and don't even acknowledge me or invite me, and I guess that's what hurts. The same way I have tried to engage with Smug and Snarky at home, the same cold responses they give me are the same cold responses I get at work from the supervisors. I like your nails. Oh, I like your pen, where did you get it from? But I've always felt like God was watching over me. Because on days when I would feel awful at work from being excluded from the pizza party, I would drive home feeling extremely alone. I would walk up the front door feeling exhausted and sad and go inside to find some fresh hot pizza right on the table. 
The thing is, I never told anyone how much I actually wanted a slice at work. I never told anyone how I was feeling, so it's not like my husband knew what he was going on and wanted to cheer me up. He didn't know. So with a tired smile, I happily sat down and enjoyed a slice with somebody who actually loves me and enjoys my company. I guess the whole point of this video is that not everyone's going to like you even though you are kind to them. And it can be really hard to navigate through that, especially when it's for no reason at all. I heard this old quote before and it stuck with me ever since. You can be the sweetest peach in the tree, but some people just don't like peaches. And if you've ever felt excluded or unwelcome, just know I love you and I am happy you're here. Thank you for watching and comment below if you're also a sweet peach. Like and subscribe if you want to and I'll see you next time. Bye!